Hi, this is going to be a slightly different video to the sort that you are normally used to because this in front of me is last year's framework laptop. And today, right before your very eyes, I'm going to upgrade it. This is the Framework laptop and it was conceived and sold as a modular upgradable machine that you could swap out any part that got too old or stopped working to keep everything else running for longer. Now, a year after its release, the company has put out its first major mainboard upgrade that will take this from uh, an 11th generation Intel chip to a 12th generation and Apparently, it's easy enough that anyone can do it, and uh, I count myself as anyone, so I'm going to try and do it. I have with me my trusty Framework screwdriver, I don't know if you can see that in the close-up here, and Framework publish iFixit style guides to guide you through repairing it according to the website. Replacing the main board in its entirety will take 15 minutes, so... I don't know whether we're gonna to get to 15 minutes, but we will see. The first thing we do is we pop out all the ports. I'm gonna have the guide in front of me because I am not an experienced uh, laptop repairer. I used to, you know, I used to be fairly confident doing this sort of stuff, but I think after a while, the muscle memory goes and then you get quite fearful. There's four ports in these sort of ducts. As you can see, there are these little expansion cards that connect over USB-C, but you can basically swap in and out the ports that you want. So if you want four USB-C, uh, you can, but there's a micro SD card reader, there's HDMI, there's, I mean, on this one at least, there's a, there's a USB-C. They're quite ah, stiff to get out. And in fact, as part of, as part of this release as well, um, the company's also um, announcing its first new expansion card which is an Ethernet expansion card. It's got this very nice sort of transparent uh, look going on. In order to replace the guts of this thing, you just unscrew and then this should, if I've got this right, pop off. I'll be very careful here because there is a Everything's designed so that someone like me can just, you know, um, not freak out. Everything's very clearly labelled and there are these QR codes here and here and here and here. And these will all go to pages on the Framework website that will tell you what you need to do in order to fix or repair the particular issue. Now we have to do the, the bit that's in red text where it is disconnect the battery. So what I have to do is pull this out, but being mindful of the fact that I have to do it without bending any pins. There we are. Because now I've got to pull the speaker out from the main board. Using your fingernail, flip the black latch on the connector. Oh, there's a black latch right there. Ah, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Okay, now we have to disconnect the display. Is that the webcam cable? It says JCAM on the motherboard, so I'm gonna... There we go. All right, so remove the Wi-Fi module. Release the black and white Wi-Fi antenna cables first. Don't hit the RAM, don't hit the RAM. Louis Rossman definitely earns his money, I can tell you that much. Now that all actually all comes out. Ooh. Ah, and it pops up, lovely. Do I just have to leave that sticking out? Okay, so now we've just got to pull the RAM out. Oh, there we go. There we go. And then we just got to slide these out. So now we need to pull the storage off. And then I can just slide that out. Okay, so now I have to remove the five mainboard fasteners. Lifting out the mainboard. There'll be lots of people uh, very annoyed at my timidity, I'm sure. I have to send this back to the company. They'll be, you know, they'll be shouting at me if I break it. Don't touch any of the components on the board. I've already just touched the bottom, sorry. Okay, so this is the old main board. I don't think you do this on a, on a single generation, but if you keep this for sort of, I don't know, say five years or four years, and by that point, 
if if the company can sort of make good on its promise then you'll be able to sort of make that leap then this model is the the mid-range machine from last year and that system on a chip had a 2.8 gigahertz core 7 1165g7 and in the box is um, a core i7 1260p if you just buy this on its own it will cost you 699 dollars you can also get a core i5 1240p for 499 dollars and if you want you can also get the flagship boulder lake i7 1280p but that's going to set you back a thousand and forty nine dollars which is the price of a new laptop really but again this is part of the idea that you can you can go for more frequent chip upgrades because you're not spending on the screen the deck anything else you know this is why i think framework has has attracted so much interest this is the scary bit now i have to put the new mainboard in it's only 700 dollars it's i can i can if i break it i can afford that it's fine i can't afford it but mm. now we have to put everything back <laughs> there are two screw holes on here so i should just be able to drop this in on top of those ah and then next to them are two little holding doodads so if I, ah just drops in that's great i've always liked the fact that the the laptop is signed so the uh the team who made it have got their names on the left side of the board here a nice little touch okay battery pins are the battery pins straight let's have a look you know what you should have told me to do this before i screwed it in and they do look straight though see because i'm paranoid about bending the pins so i'm probably taking about four or five times longer than i could or should someone in the comments going i'll oh, just shove it in what's likely to happen is there's going to be like a hard cut in this video any second oh oh someone just flashed red at me I don't know what that means, but I'm now more nervous. Ah, it looks like it is not, uh, I'm not the only person to find a board with the, f the rightmost uh, battery connector pin. So the option is to straighten it and hope for the best or abandon the video. There definitely wasn't any problem with the pins. And I definitely didn't just uh, move the bent pin back into place with a pair of very, very expensive uh, tweezers. Okay, so now everything is just, everything is just putting everything back uh, as it was. Yes! <laughs> okay, right. This is now, this is now loading. On. While we're waiting for this to load, actually, I'll, I'll say as well, so Framework are very aware of the fact that people who do upgrade are going to have the older main boards that are left over. It's offering a series of CAD designs so that you can sort of turn these into effectively gussied up Raspberry Pis. Because certainly this is a, a last year um, Intel chip. This has many years of life left in it and certainly it, it's plenty powerful enough. They've got some basic designs for you to 3D print your own enclosure and then there are hobbyist projects. There's this really gorgeous hobbyist project where they've made it into sort of retro sort of Fallout style terminal. So having now put everything back together the first thing I will say is that it took uh, a lot longer than the promised 15 minutes. Although, to be fair, um, I was talking to the camera a lot and also this is the first time I've really had to get into the guts of this machine. I think now I could probably do it in 15 minutes. Now I know the layout. This really isn't intimidating and it shouldn't be intimidating. Being able to make basic repairs on a machine like this shouldn't be something that you have to go and see a repair technician for. It should be entirely possible to do basic stuff like this without it being a problem. The fact that I could do something as extensive as swapping out the mainboard 
with relatively little stress speaks volumes to, to Framework's achievement here. I think I'm more impressed now than I was a year ago. Framework is setting the standard by which a lot of other laptop companies need to start meeting. In terms of sustainability and repairability and, and modularity, if you want to learn more about this laptop, you can read my review from last year. I've also got a piece about the upgrade process. And obviously, if you just want to stay in touch uh, with all of the exciting developments in the worlds of technology and science, then you should visit engadget.com. And please do not forget to like and subscribe this video because uh, that way we can make more of them.